veins I've been driving this train Years in this lane There's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game And I changed it to play How I like rearranged it To my own domain Yeah I got what it takes Made lots of mistakes Taking shots Skipping breaks Feeling lost Feeling great Popping off Singing straight Never stop Never changed All the squad So in this vid We're gonna show you How to adjust Rear coilovers Same coilovers of coilovers they're both pretty much the same procedure uh, more or less so I'll show you how I'm going to adjust the rear ones on my car today um, she's a little bit low she's just rubbing a little bit with people in the back so I just want to raise it up about five or five or eight mil I'll show you how that's done and um, if we get to it we might even paint the rear sway bar just something I've wanted to do for a little while just something different um, so yeah, come along for the ride as we adjust the suspension. Uh, hopefully later in the week we'll do the suspension and uh, this morning we're gonna get the paddle shift sorted. So enjoy the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, toot toot. Just coming into the city in Melbourne here so it's a bit full on in the traffic. Beautiful day in Melbourne today, 30 degrees, sunny. Couldn't ask for a better day. So yeah, enjoy the video peeps. Love yous. You say yeah. I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never cap in space Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Well today we're adjusting some suspension, that's right. We've got coilovers in the bad boy and we're gonna be adjusting uh, the rear today. The front are pretty much the same scenario. They've both got little uh, adjusting plates that you adjust, but we're gonna be concentrating on the rear today. Those new Michelins are just scrubbing just a tiny bit on the rear um, and with people in the back. It's okay without people in the back, but when we've got people in the back, she's scrubbing a bit. So we're gonna go through the process on how to adjust coilovers in a FG Falcon, most Falcons, most coilovers are the same, so stay along for the ride as we uh, do a suspension adjustment. I hope you like it. Don't forget to subscribe and give the video a like. Thanks, guys. All right, so before we begin, guys, the best way to adjust suspension is to get a baseline first. You've got to know where you're starting at. So if you've got a flat piece of concrete, which we have, we're in a nice workshop floor, get a measurement from the bottom of the concrete to the top of the guard. So we're just going to give it a measurement. So before we start, what have we got here? So we'll call it six forty. We'll call it six forty five. And a bit, and I'm just gonna put a white mark as well. If it's gonna work. Not really. Well, that was a bit of a I wanted to put a white mark on the tyre. Mm, it's not really going to... Black mark with a sharpie would probably be better. Oh, well, the white mark thing's not going to work, but... Just get a measurement off the other side as well. So a 645, 646. Let's see how well Kevy adjusted it last time. I think that side's a bit lower. Oh, spot on. 6.44. So it's a good start. We're pretty, pretty spot on. That's about 6.44. So remember that, guys. We're going for about 8 to 10, eight to 10 5 to 10 mil somewhere there. All right, so 6.45. Let's raise this up. Yew. Okay, so here we are at the rear of the vehicle. Now, if you have a look here, you wanna zoom in there if you can. So this is our spring set up here, and you can see, I'll take the spring out so you can see what we're looking at. So you can see the two lock rings here. Um, obviously, they're, they're locked together, so you just have to un unlock them, and basically just wind it up to your desired level. So we'll get some tools out and get to it. Alrighty, um, do you want to point it more at that? 
All right, so we've got this top ring loose here. So all we have to do is wind the top ring up. So we're gonna wind this up to about, until we've got about a five to eight mil gap, our, our desired height that we wanna to get to. So you can see guys, see the gap in here? So I reckon that's about five, six mil maybe. So we want maybe a little bit more. We'll get a measuring tape out and do it properly. Now you can see that I've wound that top coil up. I reckon what's that, seven or eight mil? So I reckon that's probably where we want to be. So now we just have to wind the locking, locking top one up and lock them in and that's that side done. It's pretty much that easy. I'll go through um, you know the final processes, but it's pretty much that easy wind up the top lock ring to where you want it That's going to set your suspension height and then wind the bottom lock ring up to lock the both rings in and that suspension adjusted you Thank you You're Right Alrighty, so we just loosen that bottom ring. It's had a bit of debris in it These coilovers have been in here for ages, so they've got dirt and debris, and yes, I probably should take them out and clean them, but it keeps being lazy. You just do that lock ring up. Go about eight mil on this side, didn't we? Just use the special tool to lock up the bottom ring. Trickier than it looks. And that's one side done, we'll refit the spring. Hopefully we can still get it in now that we've adjusted the suspension up. Yeah, beautiful. going to the other side now yeah so we're just on the other side now same process we're just going to remove the spring so we can get to the adjuster all them rocks are still coming out from drag day Wind this one up about the same, about eight mil. Pause. That's too much. That's about nine mil in it. 
Hey? So there's one mil low, I remember. Yeah. Always want that side of tiny, tiny bit. Are you recording yet? You are? Yeah. Alrighty guys, so I reckon that's about eight mil. Maybe a bit too much. Alrighty, we'll lock that one up. It's another side done. It's that easy, guys. I'm just holding the top ring here and, and doing the bottom ring up tight to it. I'm just holding the top ring from turning and locking that bottom ring in. Let's double check this side. Refit said spring. I'm going to go a little bit too high on this one. Raise this side up a bit. You can pause. Yeah? Okay. Alrighty guys, so as you can see on the front, I do not... As you can see on the front, I don't run an actual coilover. Well, it is a coilover, but not fully adjustable. These, the coilovers on my car, they've just got three platforms. They're a different design on the rear. So if you have a look up here, see this little plate? So these are the Bilstein, Bilstein struts this little plate is adjustable. So if you were to uncompress the spring, um, there's a little lock ring, a little circlip on the bottom there that you can raise that platform up and down. But if you had a coil over, it would be exactly the same as the front. Just show on that plate. So where, that, where this plate is here, if you had coil overs on the front, you would have two of those little windy things, two of those little windy spring platform things that we had on the rear. So if you had coil overs, you'd do exactly the same thing. You'd back off the bottom ring, and you'd wind the top ring up and down until you had your desired suspension height achieved and job done. So basically exactly the same on the front, just a little bit more time involved in adjusting that platform. I hope you enjoyed this video guys. We're gonna just pop it down now and check our results and see how we go. All right, so we've lowered the car back down. We've made sure the springs are seated properly. I've just gone outside and run it over the speed humps a couple of times just to settle the rear suspension. Now remember before we measured up at about 6.45 um, from the base of the concrete to the top of the sill here. Uh, let's see how we measure up now. Exactly 10 mil. So that's 665. We've got 10 mil on this side. Ten mil on this side, six sixty-six. Look for a mil. I'm not going to argue. So we've got our ten mil. I'm going to leave it at that. It's probably going to settle a couple of mil. Um, so yeah, we've just raised the rear suspension up ten mil. Quick and easy. Kev spec. How to adjust rear coilovers. That whole process took me. I don't know what. Thirty minutes. We're here. I think. So more than achievable at home in the driveway. 
Um, just measure, make sure you take your measurements, take your time, and it's as easy as that, guys. Eww. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, now we're going to get on to painting the rear sway bar. So I don't know how this is going to turn out. I just thought I wanted to paint my rear sway bar. It's one of the suspension components, components that hasn't been painted. So stay tuned and see how this turns out. So in this video, like I uh, said before, we're going to paint the rear sway bar. It's just something I wanted to do, and um, it's a pretty simple job, really simple job. So we've got the two sway bar links here, one each side, so they link the sway bar to the lower control arms. That's what stops the sway of the vehicle. So we're just going to undo these 13, probably 13, 14 mil. Upside down, Miss Jane. Ready? Okay, so we're just going to undo the two D, D shackle mounts um, that hold the sway bar to the uh, subframe here. So they're just two 10 mils. Zap them out. Two 10 mils on this side. And that is sway bar out All right, so we're just going to do a quick clean up because the rubbers have got grease on them. The rubbers that go in these D shackles have got grease on them. The sway bar is all greasy. We're just going to give it a clean up. Bit of brake cleaner to start. I lose track of time. Yeah, I move fast and climb. A new class divine. Yeah, true passion shines. And so I might even hit these these guys with a bit. They're, I've painted them black before, but they're a bit manky, so we might hit them with some gloss black. All right, clean up this sway bar. Now this doesn't need a, a crazy clean because we're going to sand this back, so just to get most of the crap off it. It's going to make my life difficult. I've painted over a sticker here, so we're going to have to scrape all that off. Pause. Right, so I'm just going to hit this with some pretty aggressive 80 grit sandpaper just to get all the crap off it and these stickers here you can see I painted black over the old factory sticker so a bit of aggressive sandpaper will get that off beautiful so we're just going to give it a really good scuff up with the 80 just to get any loose and flaking paint off it I choose second dimes, you snooze half the time while I move passing by. Uh, I work hard each and every day. I get lost in the words I say. I don't push pause, no, I push play. I won't stop till I make a change. I wish. Talky. Alright, so we're just heading on to the next stage. I've got some wet and so we first stage was really rough 80 just to get all the flaky paint and crappy bits off. And now we're going to hit it with some um, 240 wet and dry, and that should be uh, good enough to do some undercoat. All right, sanding's complete. So I'll give it a good hit with 80 rough grit sandpaper just to get all the shit off. And then we've hit it with the 240 sandpaper. That's probably good enough. It's a sway bar. I'm... People are probably going to crucify me. The 240's too rough, but it's fine.
So we're just going to give it a good clean up with brake clean after sanding. Things I make, I turn flaws into flawless traits. Now as with any painting, then a good hit with prep sole prep wash to get any crap off before you apply paint. Captain Space, I won't stop till I hear him say. So that's one undercoat done. Uh, we'll give it another hit in a couple of minutes, give it about 10 or 15 to flash off and we'll hit it again with undercoat. Then it's time for some colour. So my offside uh, cameraman Mick has picked the colour today, so don't crucify me, but I actually like it. I gave him four colours to choose from and he's picked bright green, so bright green it is. Alright guys, well that's the undercoat done. It hasn't come up 100% to be honest, but it is what it is. It'll come up nice enough for a sway bar, so we'll let that flash off for 10 or 15 minutes. And then we'll hit her with a bright green. Right, let's make this thing green. In my veins, I've been driving this train Years in this lane, there's no stop in this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes, made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks, feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight, never stop, never changed All the squad here to play. Okay guys, so we're just putting the sway bar back on here, as you can see These are, I've lubed the rubbers up with a bit of rubber grease Well, it looks like I've got it on backwards. <laughs> I had a 50% chance of getting it right, and I got it wrong. And I've got something to say, yeah. I work hard each and every day. I get lost in the words I say. I don't push pause, no, I push play. I won't stop till I make a change. I withdraw. There she is, all done. Alrighty guys, so there's the finished product. She's green and mean, what do you reckon? Bit of red spring action, bit of red bush, and a nice green sway bar. Thanks for watching guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you like that quick tutorial on how to do coilover adjustment on the rear of your FG Falcon or pretty much any coilovers and how we painted our rear sway bar. Massive shout out as always to Grease Monkey Auto Works. We're there in their workshop using their hoists, using their tools. So massive shout out to Grease Monkey and thanks for watching. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed already, jump on and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Stay safe and love you. You! I get lost in the words I say. I don't push pause, no, I push play. I won't stop till I make a change. I withdraw on the things I make. I turn flaws into flawless traits. I build tall, never.